Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and <laughs> we got lots to talk about and discuss today, right? I just got done with a Red Tornado DC Multiverse video where I said, hey, really looking forward to what McFarlane Toys is going to be doing with their DC Multiverse line. 2023 was really good about putting in characters, core characters that all kind of go together, finally, right? It's enough with the death metal and the odd end offshoot characters and all the Batmans and whatnot. We finally got a little bit of a semblance of a Justice League. Now we just need to work on the villains, right? But I digress. Today, on their website, this is a McFarlane Toys website store exclusive wave that we're going to be talking about today. And usually I would say, hey, <laughs> yeah, this will be fun, right? No. And if you look at the comments, especially on my post and McFarlane's posts on their own pages and whatnot, people are very unhappy, very, very unhappy. And the problem is, is that you are taking a $25 action figure, because this is a build-a-figure set, build-a-figure wave, so four figures, and you're going to charge $40 a figure now, right? No, people are not going to be into that. You kind of have to think about this in a couple different ways. A lot of people are going to immediately gravitate towards the fact of they're trying to money grab, right? Let's see, let's, let's test the waters and see what we can get away with. Okay. That's one. No, that's not going to work because we all know their figures are around that $20 mark or $25 or $40 for the mega figures. Very rarely do we ever jump ship and go, hmm, yeah, I'll, I'll totally do that. You have to put more in the box. You have to improve the sculpt. You have to go pinless. You have to do more in order to warrant that higher price point, right? And no, these $25 build-a-figure figures do not cover that $40 mark. On the other hand, to think about it a different way, we're not seeing a whole heck of a lot of McFarlane store exclusives, let alone an entire wave. So because of the higher price point, I would guess that this was supposed to go to retail. And if you look at what retail has done lately, there have been a lot of, yeah, we're passing. We're passing on this. Put it online. You've seen that a lot, especially with a lot of movie sort of style lines, right? Indiana Jones and whatnot. Walmart didn't even take that entire toy line. Target handled it. And then, of course, it went online for Hasbro. But... With this line, that's what I think happened here. They're trying to recoup their money uh, by charging a higher price point. You can get the entire set of figures. They're going to knock it down a few bucks. But yes, to charge $40 a figure, whereas there'd be $25 in the store, of course. That's $15 markup. Heck, even going $30, i will tell you what. The problem, the main problem is is that you've now soured 2024 in the sense of what McFarlane Toys puts out. This will last quite a while. People are going to talk about this on one hand because McFarlane has said, oh, we're not raising our prices, right? We're trying to keep them low, and they have for the most part. So when you do this type of thing, which is such uh, an increase, just like out of nowhere, that's where people get riled up. That's where the comments go. So instead of trying and, and to go with option two, recoup any money lost, is that really worth souring your audience, your collector audience, the people that want to buy your figures? I would say absolutely not. Take one on the chin, take one for the team, and at the most, maybe put this up for 30, and if you want to do the bundle... 110, you know, out the door. Don't go crazy. Uh, this is, <laughs> it's something else. Let's just say this. In either case, you've heard my two cents on the subject. No, I, I would not recommend getting these. And, and yes, unfortunately, there's a lot of characters in this wave that I want. And that's what's kind of like, ah, oh, that's, 
the ultimate bummer. Now, after all that nastiness, right, let's talk about the actual figures. Let's see if they warrant anything within that $40 price point, which again, no, they don't. But if you do want these, and that's your prerogative, people out there, don't fault people for wanting these. If they want to spend their money, leave them B. But hopefully I can save you some cash, if anything. If you use the code PUNCH15 when you check out on their McFarlane website, you will get 15% off. And basically, now, it will vary depending on where you live with the taxes and whatnot, but it basically takes care of the shipping at the lowest price point and then also the taxes. So you're looking about 20, roughly 22 bucks off at the end of the day, which, hey, at least it's something, right? So let's talk about this crisis on Infinite Earth's wave, right? What a <laughs> tie-in, right? A crisis on our hands. So you got four figures, a Build-A-Figure. First figure. See, this is what I'm talking about, though. This is not a bad-looking Superman. I did see a lot of people say, why does he look so old? This is the original Superman. If you've never read... Crisis on Infinite Earths, which, based on the comments, I'm going to guess that a lot of you haven't. But this is an older Superman. He is supposed to have more of that gray slash white wingtip, sort of the poly walnut style on the sides of his hair. That shows his age between in the story of the regular Superman, and then you have this Earth 2 Superman. So I don't mind the face sculpt at all on this guy. I just wish that they would have put a lot more gray white in the hair. It's only a little bit, and I wish they wouldn't shy away from that ultimately. Now, they did give him a cloth cape. It's a wired cloth cape. So again, in terms of, let's say, the character choices, which you'll soon see, I don't think a lot of people are necessarily going to go, oh my God, yes. The Superman, yes, most definitely. Superman sells. But as you'll soon see, that could have been another factor. Uh, retail saying, well, uh, who knows these characters? I don't know these characters. And that's what's a bummer because this is the perfect wave to me. It's a bunch of characters I want in my DC Multiverse collection. The one caveat to this cape is the ridiculous giant S that is on the back. Now, I was kind of hoping, I'm like, oh, hopefully they put the S on the cloth cape. Well, they did, and they went a little bit too big. It's almost comedic at this point. Maybe, kind of, sort of, in some angles and some panels, maybe it was this big. But for the most part, no, it's supposed to be normal size. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I know from Earth 2 Superman. So all in all, he comes with some flight hands. It's also a new Superman body. I love the blues, right? I love the S-Shield on the front. I love this cloth cape with the wired bit in it. That's awesome. It comes with the arms for the monitor. So this one, I could see people going, okay, I want this. This is awesome. Very cool. But again, $40. We've already been over it. If you want it, yeah, by all means, go ahead and grab it. And on the backside, you get to see the Build-A-Figure. You got the four figures. Not a bad look at Superman. It's just a total bummer. <laughs> it, it has to be in this wave. And I'm sure as time goes on that we will soon see this Superman released in various forms in the body type and yada yada. That has always seems to be the way of things. Now, continuing on with characters. This one for me, again, very cool and very relevant to the whole crisis on Infinite Earths, which is Psycho Pirate. And I like what they've done here with this character. They've got the blacks, the reds, you've got that gold Medusa mask or whatever that he wears. You have the faces that are on his body, on the torso and the chest. I like what they did here. The cape looks good, everything looks pretty solid. None of these figures, just to point out, come with any accessories. And again, the idea that you would go, let's do 40, let's do $15 more for a $25 figure, right? Because again, it's the Build-A-Figure price point at 25. But yeah, nothing, nothing in the box except for the figure and then the parts to build said Build-A-Figure. So again, no, that's a bummer. And again, it's just a really cool, you know, finally we're getting some villains. <laughs> I really wish things have gone very different for this wave because I would have loved to have seen, even if this was the target year long, like this would have been the best target year long build a figure wave after the three 
very lackluster waves. There were good elements. There was like, oh, God, okay, that's cool. Not really. This would have been all in for me. This is awesome. I really wish that they would have taken this, if anything. That would have been very cool to see. But instead, now it's on the McFarland site, and they're charging astronomical prices for it. Now, for the good guys, we're getting Kid Flash. And I kind of had to go back, and I was like, is, is it off? Is there something weird? No, if you look at the source material from Crisis on Infinite Earths, for the most part, they've in a little bit of ways, McFarland him, you know what I mean, where they've beefed him up and they've made him more on that semi-adult body, I guess you could say. I guess it would have fit better on the whole younger, well, the younger-ish sort of teen body that they've been using. This head portrait, not the best, let's be honest. They gave him the blonde hair. It is Kid Flash. They got the symbol on the chest right. They've got the weird boots that he has and the weird gloves and whatnot. So it fits in that sense, but the body with that diaper, right, because it doesn't have that breaking point, there's no belt, there's nothing like that. It's clumsy, it's odd, it really could have used a little bit more oomph to it. And again, for $40, no, that's just not going to do it. So unfortunately, yeah, that's, it, it's like, it's there, but then it's not. <laughs> and that's a lot of times what we say with McFarlane toys, unfortunately. And again, to reiterate, nothing in the box except for hands and whatnot, no excess. You know, it's just, there's a lot you could have done. You could have had some fun with this one, especially Speed Force effects and whatnot. And then continuing on. So the figure number four, and this one, this one is the one that I want. This is the one I've been asking for, the Spectre. I think that the Spectre actually looks the best. So this is the Jim Corrigan Spectre. And yes, he plays a very prominent role in Crisis on Infinite Earths. I did see a comment somebody had left and said, oh man, that would have been really cool to do a mega figure of the Spectre. And I wholeheartedly agree. A giant Spectre to then fight your anti-monitor that was released this prior 2023. That would have been killer. Now, from the sides, the back, I think that the cape looks awesome. I really do. This is the one where I have the least problems with if you really need to nitpick it, which again, the price point is making us all do that. I like how this figure came out. So this is the one that I absolutely want more than all of them. And no, no extra hands, no powers, some green Kirby crackle, something like that really would have elevated this figure, to be honest, or... <laughs> See, this is another one. If it would have gone to retail or whatnot or been online, uh, let's say Amazon, outside of McFarlane, right, at normal retail price, you could have seen this as uh, another variant, like um, Glow in the Dark. Mattel did that years ago, but it works with a character like the Spectre. So something like that really would have been cool. And of course, he comes with the head and the cape upper armor piece of the Build-A-Figure for the monitor. And speaking of which... The figure itself, when you get it all together and the photos that they've shown, he looks relatively good. I'm not going to sit there and look at the source material and then look at the head portrait and go, yeah. Now, yes, it does get drawn various ways. They seem to have put a little bit more of an edge to him. Am I complaining? No, but they could have been more spot on in that sense with the source material. Don't take so much leeway sometimes. Us collectors, us fans of the source material, we look at these very poignant details and we're gonna know. Like, even looking at it, like I had to look at the source material to be honest with you, but I knew, I was like, hey, there's something off, right? Yeah, it's in the head. He's kind of got like a big forehead kind of thing going on. Also, in the source material, it could be blue on black, black on blue, but they've chosen the black here. May have worked for a darker blue. Maybe that would have helped. But yes, he has black on the torso and the arms. So again, yeah, it's a bit of a nitpick, but he's got the blue gloves. He's got some armor pieces, none of which has any shading to it, too. So it'll be interesting to see what this really looks like in hand. He has a ton of texture on the cape, which, yeah, they, they could really could have left that out. See, that's the difference... I like the characters that they're doing a whole heck of a lot more with less detail. Put a little bit in there. I like the head portraits, the sculpt, everything that's been kind of coming through in that sense. But too much excessive texture doesn't match 
what we know for the source material. So lighten up on that uh, tremendously. But in either case, yes, that's your four-figure Crisis on Infinite Earths wave with the monitor Build-A-Figure. And as to reiterate, this would have been a fantastic wave. For us DC fans out there that know the source material, that's just an ideal wave. Earth 2 Superman, Spectre, Psycho Pirate, Kid Flash, Wally West, and the monitor from Crisis on Infinite Earths. That would have been tremendous man oh man i really wish they hadn't gone this route because everything is going to be negative towards this now and as you'll soon see to prompt the price at this that is going to just take hold everyone's gonna say that now everyone's gonna be talking about that in the negative way so mcfarland toys you've set yourself up for 2024 this year this is not going away anytime soon nobody wants this at this price point, it's not fair. It's not fair to collectors, to be honest with you. Although, I will say this. No one's making you buy this, so you have to think about that. But those are some awesome characters for a DC Multiverse collection. I'm just saying. So, to reiterate, you've heard my thoughts. Now, I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And be sure, like I said, if you do want this wave, use that promo code PUNCH15 so at least you save something on this, right? But... You've heard my thoughts, now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, let's learn from this. Look at those comments, read those comments, and know collectors of DC Multiverse are not happy. And when they aren't, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.